B in Abilene is hosting a public interest meeting tomorrow evening to help entrepreneurs learn how they can be part of their competition. Here with us now is Justin Jaworski. Thank you for being here today. This is pretty cool. We just said this is better than Shark Tank. It's Abilene's version of it. This is the third year that you are putting this on. So explain to people what B in Abilene is. It's our way to get behind local entrepreneurs. Everybody's got a business idea, it seems like, and the toughest challenge in that is how do you get it off the ground? And three years ago, the uh, economic development program here at the city of Abilene came together and said, how can we do that? That's a creative way we can do that. And be in Abilene was the answer. A competitive platform that allows folks to put their best ideas and see who wins. And this, they actually win a lot of money. So let's talk about the prize so people out there can hear that money and say, I want to join this. Right. So there's $250,000 in the pot to potentially win. The maximum award per person or per business is a hundred thousand, so it's it's no nothing to, to laugh at by any means. Okay, let's talk about where that money's coming from, because that's another question people are going to want to know. Where where's it coming from? So the city's development corporation of Abilene is the means by which business comes here and stays here. And three years ago, the leadership of that fine organization saw fit to put together a platform to help ideas land and stay in Abilene. Okay, let's talk about past winners so people can kind of get an idea of um, how creative they need to be. So let's talk about your past winners. So a couple of past winners we've had just this last year, we saw uh, Sock Dolliger Brewing Company come forth as Abilene's own local brewery. Um, and a husband and wife team called Unique Kids Beds that has a very unique take on making custom beds for kids. And I know the bed makers, they're doing a lot of work and then Sock Dolliger building a new place, so it's definitely helped them in their business. So let's talk about the criteria. What do people need to do, have um, put together already to be considered for this? In a sense, what we're looking for is you make something. That's really the bottom dollar of what we're trying to find. Uh, be it a computer program, I make a widget, I refine something. That pretty well qualifies you for what we're looking for. Okay, let's talk about tomorrow night's meeting. Um, what kind of questions and answers are, are we talking about? Anything and everything. So we find it helpful to have an open discussion forum, and that's what the public interest meeting is designed to do, is give us a way where we can present and let people ask whatever they'd like. And this is at the Small Business Development Center. Explain to people where that's located at. So it's on Loop 322. If you know where Cisco is, it's mm -hmm. not far from there on 749 Gateway. Way Street in the Small Business Development Center. Okay, and so to do the application, is it on your website? Go online. BeInAbilene.com is where to go. All right, when's the deadline for these applications? You need to have it wrapped up by January 31st. Okay, and when is the winner announced or the, the winners announced? We'll find out in the middle of May. All right, well, actually, how are they judged? That's another question I want to ask. So we've got a volunteer panel of entrepreneurs that look at terms of investment, what makes sense. So that's kind of maybe the Shark Tank nature of it. Okay. And those folks make recommendations to how we award those. All right, well, we appreciate you coming on today and helping local entrepreneurs. So if you are one of those local entrepreneurs and you want to come out for this Q&A meeting, it will be at the Small Business Development Center. It's located at 749 Gateway Street in Building C, Suite 301 by Cisco College. The meeting is tomorrow, January 23rd from 6 to 7. To learn more, go to BeInAbilene.com.